Hi folks. I did a, a video a few weeks ago. Um, it was called How Not to Paint Watercolours as I struggle at the easel. And uh, it was one of those where I've, I've come pretty close to a board once or twice, but stuck with it and ploughed on. Um, I was using a reference photograph. Um, it was all about using reference photographs um, and just using them to create your own impressions of the scene. Um, but I had a, an interesting comment from, from um, Vermilion T who said, I'm sure the main problem was trying to make the painting too much like the photograph. Because that's really one of the main things you've actually freed me from, and which I've consciously identified and observed of a source of problem with my own paintings. He said, I think there are many things at play with a reference photograph. One of the things I think I've become aware of is that no matter how good the photograph is, it's not good enough to be just copied into a painting. It works as a photograph, often thanks to the high definition which is lost in the painting, but not as a painting in itself. Often the light and contrast can be bettered. Then there's just the scale and balance that can become better. Photos are great as reference for details. I think I made a, an excellent point. Uh, an excellent point there. Photos are great as references, but that's especially with, with my sort of sort of painting I like to do, just impressionism. Um, that's all they are, just a reference, um, and, and shouldn't really be copied. There's, there's so many decisions to make when you when you've got a reference photograph. Um, whether you want to change the composition, move elements about within the painting, um, the light, the contrast, the colours. Um, what to leave in, what to leave out. Um, that's why I try and explain sometimes to people, um, even to, to my own dad the other week, how much more difficult it is using a reference photograph to using another painting as a reference. Because when you copy a painting, the, the artist has made all these decisions previously. They've made all these decisions for you. And until you actually try using a, a, a painting from a reference photograph, you don't realise just how difficult it is. And so the problems, the problem I sometimes have, um, it, it, it's probably just a lack of planning really, because I like to just dive in, dive in without planning anything beforehand. Um, sometimes I'm just, I'm just creating problems for myself really. That's just, 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 the way I prefer to work really just just paint by instincts and just see what it works what happens what works what doesn't if it doesn't work I'll just crack on the next one try again just learn from my mistakes so basically the moral of the story is remember a photograph is just for reference and you know if you fall into the trap every now and again like I did when you're just trying to copy it too closely and so you sort of lose that looseness um, and, and tighten up like I did in that video um, then it can be a problem. If it becomes a persistent problem, then I'd probably recommend doing a, a sort of brief preliminary sketch. That's something I, I, I never, I never bother with myself. But um, I think with experience, you, you sort of learn. You can just dive straight in with the, uh, with the with the paintbrush. But a preliminary sketch will certainly help anyone who's struggling. Um, Especially with the with the start, you know, you got your reference photograph. Um, like the, 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 the things I just mentioned before, with the, the composition, what to leave in, what to leave out. And, I mean, look, I mean, if you was trying to paint this scene now, there's, there's so many different elements to it: the sky, the the, the, the landscape itself. How would you rearrange everything? Um, would you put the horses in, or would you stick them over there? Would you have that tree there? These bushes over here? Maybe change the colours about. Do the colours contrast better with the with the grain? I mean, there's so many decisions to make, but that's all the joy of painting, really. I always try and just make it up as I'm going along, make all these decisions. But especially if you're a beginner, you probably to give it half a minute before you start painting, maybe. 